Good afternoon, welcome to today's video. And can we just talk about Elisa Lamb for like a minute? I know this is like old news, behind the times type stuff, but I haven't gotten a chance to talk about it on my channel yet. And it is one of the most creepiest mysteries I've ever come across. If you don't know anything about the case of Elisa Lamb, let me give you a little bit of a backstory so you know what I'm talking about. So Elisa Lamb was a student, I believe, from Canada that was here visiting LA. This was back in like February of 2013. She was staying in downtown LA at the Cecil Hotel or Cecil Hotel, however you want to say it. But more importantly, can we just talk about how the Cecil Hotel has like this dark history. There were multiple murders there in like the 20s and 30s. I believe Richard Ramirez has stayed there. What was he like? The, the night stalker, or the night killer, something like that. Some serial killer. There have been a bunch of suicides at the hotel in the like, I believe the 50s and 60s. People were just jumping off the roof and like falling to their death. But anyway, let's get back to Elisa Lamb because I got off topic. So Elisa Lamb was in the Cecil Hotel when she mysteriously was murdered. Well, nobody knows if she was murdered or not. It's said that it was an accidental drowning, but I don't buy that. So, all of a sudden, Elisa Lamb goes missing, right? Two weeks later, guests at the hotel start saying that the water tastes funny and that it's a weird color. So what did the employees do? They start looking for the cause of this water malfunction, right? So one of the employees goes up to the roof of the hotel, opens the water tank, and notices a body floating in it. Yeah, that's right. These people, for two weeks, have been drinking water, showering in water, that a decomposing body is floating in. Disgusting, right? So, what happened to Elisa Lamb? It is a complete mystery. So there's this surveillance camera footage of Elisa Lamb before she went missing, like moments before she went missing, supposedly. I don't know if this was, you know, what, whatever. So moments before she reportedly went missing, she was caught on one of the hotel surveillance videos acting really, really strange. If you haven't seen the surveillance footage yet, I'll put it right somewhere and you can watch it while I'm talking to you about this, but it's really, really creepy footage. So it shows this lady in the elevator acting really, really strange as if she's on drugs or something. And it, at some points it looks like maybe she's talking to somebody else or like somebody maybe after her. So she's like huddled in the corner, kind of like talking to herself or looks like she's hiding and then she's pressing all the buttons on the elevator and then she steps out of the elevator again and she's kind of looking around and makes these weird hand movements and then she goes back in the elevator and it's kind of like this game back and forth. The weird thing about this to me is that the entire time that she's in the elevator and going in and out of the elevator, the elevator doors never once like try to close. Usually when you're in an elevator, those suckers are slamming on you like every two minutes but nothing happens while she's in there. It's like some weird, like supernatural force is at play, right? So now after this footage, she goes missing, right? Let's talk about some other weird stuff about this, okay? So her body was found in the water tank on top of the hotel. So you have to get roof access to get in the water tank, but hotel employees say that the roof access door was locked and alarmed. So, if that door was alarmed and locked, how did she get through it and nobody ever know until two weeks later? Another thing is that the water tanks were on a platform and were so high that employees had to use a ladder to look into them when they were trying to figure out what was wrong with the water. How did this lady climb her skinny ass up over the water tank, open the lid, get inside and shut it all by yourself. So people still have no clue what happened to this lady. Was she murdered? Did she kill herself somehow? I mean, if she was murdered, I kind of feel like it, it's not number three. I'm just 
continuing. If she was murdered somehow, I think it would have to be like one of the hotel employees because how else would she have gotten through the locked door, through the alarm door, and up into the water thing without alarming anyone? Maybe somebody, like an employee, was the murderer and, you know, used their access code to get through. I don't know. I think it's kind of strange with the elevator, and here's why. There's this paranormal game called the elevator game. And so what you do is you go through, you get on the elevator and you punch in a certain um, sequence of floors. You let the elevator ride, if a lady gets on, it means you're crossing into this other dimension or something. I'm not sure exactly how the game works, but the game is played in an elevator and is supposed to take you to another dimension. A lot of people in the paranormal community think maybe she was playing this paranormal game and maybe she was in her own little dimension or supernatural realm. I don't know. It's kind of weird because she presses all the buttons and then she gets off the elevator and back on and the doors don't shut. Nothing's happening, but she's talking to things that aren't there. I mean, it's kind of possible. Another theory is maybe she was just crazy. Maybe she's talking to herself. Maybe she was having a little episode up in the elevator and then hallucinated and jumped her ass into the pool, but it was really a water tank. I don't like that theory. It's not as fun as the supernatural one. I kind of like to think that maybe she was playing a paranormal game. Maybe she was even possessed. I don't know. She was just acting weird. <laughs> like, seriously, I feel so bad for those guests that were there for those two weeks drinking that foul ass water that a decomposing body is in. I I would be afraid of drinking water for the rest of my life. And I know there's probably gross shit in my water right now, but I don't want to know about it. What do you guys think happened to Elisa Lamb that night? Do you think it was supernatural forces at play? Do you think she was murdered? Do you think she was just plain old crazy? No matter which theory you go with, you have to like admit that this case is really, really strange and her behavior was really bizarre. And you know, it's just weird. Even the people that did the autopsy came back and said there were no drugs in her system. So it wasn't like she was tripping out on something. And then they just rule it an accidental drowning, which I don't know. For me, that's like injustice. I think there needs to be a bigger investigation into this. We need some like X-Files going on over at that hotel which I don't even think it's called the Cecil Hotel or Cecil Hotel anymore. Now it's like the Stay on Main or something like that, something really lame. But it's still there if you want to check it out. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Give this video a like. If you want, you can follow me on social media. All the links are in the description below. And let me know what you think happened to Elisa Lamb. See you guys in the next video. Bye.